Did he land on his head? Once we've built a really huge slip and slide. And that was the result. <laughs> but you liked the video and I promised to do the second part as soon as possible. So, after two years I found even a bigger one here in Thailand. Is it scary and painful? Watch until the end. Hey, what's up, what a crew? My name is Jim and I'm a professional cliff diver. As you remember, the views on this channel were like this. But then something had happened and uh, the situation now is really poor. I don't believe my eyes. And that's why I'm not actively posting for several months. But now so many things are happening in my life, so I decided to uh, fuck these views. I'm going to do these videos for my own, to make it really worth watching when I'll be 60 or 70 years old, you know. So today's episode is uh, really kind of emotional for me, because uh, I'm actually on my way to find a new home. And secondly, in the end of this video, I'll show you the hardest ever super slide dive. So. Let's fly! This story actually started when we decided to leave the country searching for a new life. Well, stop! This actually started much earlier. You have probably noticed that I'm constantly filming in different swimming pools. Yes, guys, it's kind of a big problem. Pool number one was in St. Petersburg. Here the famous umbrella video was filmed, which got nearly 10 million views. But then the pool suddenly was broken. And to be honest, the director was so stupid. The director was a bit hard for building negotiations. Even though I was the president of St. Petersburg Diving Federation and really helped the sport to grow. <laughs> pool number two was in Moscow. And we could only film there at night. That was really hard and exhausting. But we could make some great footage there. Even though that pool was equipped poorly and had slippery platforms, which was a bit dangerous actually. And the director there didn't like my channel as well. Maybe after the video where we did a little bit dirty. So we decided to move on and got to the biggest pool, which was built in 1980 for the Olympic Games in Moscow. But after a while it was destroyed, so we had to find the new one. So. And then I've got a call from one of the new swimming pools in St. Petersburg that we can film there. Cool story short. We've made two videos there, after which the pool was closed. Not because of that dive, of course. Some say that one guy has stolen the money needed to make some papers for the opening. So that governmental pool is still closed for nearly 5 years already. Being completely new. After that epic fail and another pair of uh, poorly equipped pools, I found another great pool not far from Moscow. And we've made tons of content there. But it was also broken one day. What? It is probably okay for now, but I've became so superstitious after that. So you see, my life gives me signs for several years already that I need to try something different. Not pools. And the biggest sign, of course, happened on 24th of February. That was totally shocking and we decided to sell some of our stuff and moved abroad. That's me driving a car for the last time in the city of Moscow. I was shocked to see the empty airport. But that's what was happening with the international traveling then. Overall, our trip took us about 24 hours. Surprisingly to my wife and I, our kids handled that trip extremely well. Our son Leo didn't cry at all. <laughs> While Mark really appeared as a caring older brother. Here we go out to Koh Samui. This airport transfer looks like it is some carton. Then there was a Covid bus. So strange for now, actually. Hope that's a history already. We made it to Thailand and went straight to the hotel. At that time we had to spend 24 hours on quarantine because of Covid. And just like that Samui became our new home. But only then I realized what a huge mistake I made. While at home I checked that Samui had some water parks with slides and such. But it turns out that all those places I saw on the internet went bankrupt during Covid period. So the only pool available was in our resort where we moved shortly after the arrival. By the way, our house was pretty nice. Two bedrooms and two bathrooms, a small kitchen and an endless amount of lizards and spiders that my wife was so scared of. Guys, this looks like I found something very scary. Check this out. Hope this doesn't kill me. Oh my god, well. <gasps> and that costed us 23,000 baht. And by the way, exactly this place, I've left my previous uh, GoPro. And I couldn't find it anymore. <sighs> 
Anyways, I filmed two videos in that pool. One with little Leo, who was learning how to swim, and the other with Mark. I challenged him to learn a front flip in one week for a big Lego set. Comment below if you would like to see those two episodes. And if so, I'll post them. <gasps> and talking about this water park mistake. I'm not used to giving up, and I started looking into ways to get to diving. However, the only location I found was this pier. I made a couple of TikToks there and had to stop. A bit slippery and quite shallow. Never try to repeat any of that, I'm a professional. I was desperate and wrote a post in my Instagram saying that there is no way for me to find a normal spot for diving in Samui. And luckily one guy commented that he is working in a great facility for such a thing. Just 300 kilometers from there I was. So I packed my speedos and took a boat trip to Phuket. Wow, I have forgotten my speedos, stop! No, I'm kidding. Then I had to travel by bus for another few hours. Finally, Kosti picked me up on his motorcycle. And we went to the place where my Thailand diving story officially started. At least I really hope so. I plan to spend there one day, but I've spent three. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But I feel as if a huge story can start here, guys. Now I'll tell you why. And by the way, on my way back to Samui, I have forgotten my wallet full of cash in a ferry. Where's the money, Lebowski? Can you imagine that? With a car license and four credit cards, which are widely needed for my family. I was so stupid. I'll tell you what happened next in the end of this video. Stay tuned. The first thing I did at the water park was climbing up to the highest slides they had. Guys, this was a very touching and a special moment for me. I was finally where I belong, doing the thing I love. Maybe that place is supposed to become my second home. Who knows? Six months later. Well, guys, before I tell you what actually happened with the hardest ever dive from the super slide, I'd like to tell you something. First of all, of course, a lot of things happened for the last six months. Months. I focused on creating TikToks and short type of content and made 1 million subscribers on my second channel. So actually, I don't know what's the first channel right now at the moment. And together with the Blue Tree Park, we've done a super challenge. I've made 100 million views during two weeks. No! Hell no! And what is the most important thing, guys? If you support me, we are going to make here the best and the biggest water show ever. So stay tuned and you are probably going to see things like this. <laughs> and even more. And now about the hardest superfly dive ever, which was actually a New Year present for Blue Tree. We decided to perform the first ever Santa ride in the Shark Sun Dam super slide on the float here. I see almost nothing. No hesitations. We are both professionals. That doesn't help. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like my second water home. Don't forget to subscribe and write in the comments what would you like to see next. Stories about water show, stories about me cliff diving, or maybe about how am I teaching my children to dive. Anyway, stay tuned and please, don't do crazy stuff. We will do it instead of you. Take care. Bye.